Hey, welcome. Right, so this is about calculating your life path number. There's two methods. I will show you the both of them. I'll show you a couple of examples. So really, basically, we are adding the day, the month, and the year you were born. You will add them together, and you will reveal a total number. Let's just say that was 45. Then you will do the 4 plus the 5 to reach 9. That will be your life path number. That's one way to do it. Just add up all the numbers singly in your date of birth. The second way we can do it is a trinity way. The way I use. So we do the day, the month and the year. We do it singly. You will see my date of birth is there. So for me, I've got a 1, 11 and a 9. I will not break the 11. We can talk about the master numbers. Maybe on another video. So you can add it singly together to reveal the bigger number. Which for me is 21. So 2 plus 1 is 3. I will reach the same number three, even if I add all my date of birth up in one go. So you can do it as in one or in three. So here it is. I'll show you some examples then. Here we go. Right. So let's just say we're going to do the method number one. So we just go for, say, I'll do day, month, and year. So the day will be the 12th. So that's the day, right? The month, we just do the sixth month. And uh, we do a year. We do 1983. Right? So now we can just add all of them together. So 1 plus the 2 is 3. Plus 6, 9. The 1, 10. 19. 27, 30. So we can say that as to 30. So 3 plus 0 equals 3. So your life path number would be number 3. <laughs> so if we do it in a trinity, we would do the 12, which would be the 3. Then we have the month, which is the 6. Then we do the year. So 9, 10, 18, 21, which is a 3. <laughs> so now... I will reach, add them together, e equals 12, but we get to the life path 3. So the only difference is the higher number, is the only difference. Not everybody uses the higher number, so the most important is the life path. So we've reached the life path number. I can give you another example. We could do, we do month, day, year, because not everybody does the way... We do it in the UK. So, what month should we go for? Right, all right, we go for the third month. So, I like the number three. The day, should we have the 21st? <laughs> we will have a solstice day. And the year, we will have 1970, because I'm in the 70s. <laughs> 76, so yes. Right, so we can add all these together. So, we do method one. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, add the 9, 16, 23, 29. Interesting. So now we've got 29, which equals an 11, which can also equal a 2. So the life path number could even be either. See? If you add it all together like this, most peeps will give you this number. So we do it in a trinity now, the same. So that will still be a three. That will be a three. Two plus one is a three. And then nine, ten, seventeen, twenty-three that adds two. Which is a five. So eleven. I would reach. I wouldn't be able to find the two. See, it's a master number eleven, so we don't normally break their master numbers. But they stay as they are. So hence why. 
without no higher number here that's a pure number 11 if you do it the other way you can also have a 2 involved but you can use the 2 because that is the emotional side of the 11 is the 2 so like more the physical side this would be the metaphysical that's what your life path number normally is around your say your whole life you know it's your life path but in a say a spiritual soulful sense not so much of a linear and it will help you guide you on your linear experience say that's what the life path numbers reveal to us so hopefully this has helped you to be able to do your own life path numbers you know find your own one then you can watch a video on YouTube about say life path 3 or life path 5, 6, 7 and then see if it resonates hopefully it does I will do a follow up video of the master numbers the 11, the 22 and 33 they're the main three but you have got more so we, we'll look at that alright much love peeps